Hi, Mr. Hill. This video is for you. Hopefully, everything is going well. And I know you recognize this equation. Hopefully, you don't mind. I'm going to work this out and then share it with everybody on YouTube. And before I work this out, I just want to say that thank you so much for all the teaching and thank you so much for believing me throughout these years. I know I wouldn't be able to have such a strong algebra skill without you. And I know I wouldn't be able to know how to write a good multiple choice test without you. And once again, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed my video for the solutions right here. So let's look at this equation. First, I want to point out how amazing this is. We see nothing but twos and eight, right? That's amazing. And at the end, you will see what's even more amazing, okay? And now let's talk about the strategy. How can we solve a rational equation? Well, let's first go ahead and factor all these denominators out so that we can find the lowest common denominator and then multiply by every term, right? So let's go ahead and do that. For this one, let's first factor out the two. So we have two times x squared minus four, and then we can factor this out again, which will be two times x minus two times x plus two, right? And then for this right here, we can factor on x. So it will be x times x minus two. And then for this right here, we are just going to factor out x minus four times x plus two. And this is going to be two times x minus four, good. And now we are going to identify and multiply everything by the lowest common denominator. So let me just put a big parentheses. Let's see if there's any common factors. We see this two and that two in common. So let's just, just put it down right here. And we have this x, right? That's the only x factor, but then we also have to multiply by x. Next, we have the x minus two, right? So let's put that down right here. And we also have the x plus two. And lastly, we have the x minus 4 right here. So let's go ahead and multiply it by that as well. And now we just have to take this, multiply each every term. So let's see, when we do this times that, we know we are going to still have the top, right? So let me write that down first, right here. Use parentheses accordingly though. I will put down x squared plus 2x plus 8. And now you see that when I take this times the first term, the two will cancel. And this x will stay, so let me just put down the x right here. The x minus two will cancel. The x plus two will also cancel. And we also have to write down the x minus four at the end. So this is the first term after we multiply by the LCD. Next, we are going to add, and let me just write this down first in the parentheses, 2x minus 8. And when we take this, multiply by that, this 2 stays, so let's put that down right here. And this x and that x cancel. This x minus 2, that x minus 2 cancel. And we will have the x plus 2. And we also will have the x minus 4. All right. And this is going to be equal to this times that. Let me write down the x plus 8 first. And then when we do this times that, the 2 will stay, the x will stay, the x minus 2 will stay. So let me put them down first. 2x, x minus 2. And then the x plus 2 cancel, the x minus 4 cancel. Lastly, this times that. This is minus, by the way, so let's bring down the minus x. The 2 cancel, the x minus 4 cancel. We have all this left, right? So let me put down another x from here. And then we have the x minus 2, x plus 2. Right. And now we are, of course, going to multiply each every term out and then combine like terms and then collect like terms on one side and make one side equal to zero. And hopefully this is factorable, right, at the end. So let's see. I want to multiply this and that. And you know the order of multiplication doesn't matter. So let me multiply this out first. x times x minus 4, we get x squared minus 4x. And here we have a three term times two term. I would like to just use the box method. So let me just draw the box right here. And let me put down this on the top, which is x squared plus 2x plus 8. And let me put this on the side right here, x squared minus 4x. And now this is going to be x squared times x squared. We will have x to the fourth power. And this times that, we will get 2x to the third power. This times that is 8x squared. 
and then for the next row, x squared times this is negative 4x to the third power. This times that is negative 8x squared. This times that is negative 32x. And now let's see what does this give us. So right here we will have x to the fourth power, and then we combine that terms right here and here. 2x to the third power minus 4x to the third power is going to give us negative 2x to the third power. And then this and that is just zero, right? They cancel out ax squared minus ax squared, right? And then this right here is negative 32x. All right, moving on to this right here. Well, I'm going to keep this in black. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to multiply this out first. So I'm going to work this out first. 2 times x plus 2 is going to give us 2x plus 4. And then I will take this times that, okay? So let me write this down here. So here we go. 2x times x is going to give us 2x to the second power. And then 2x times negative 4 is going to give us negative 8x. But then here we have 4 times x is 4x. Therefore, negative 8x plus 4x is negative 4x. Okay? We combine that term in the middle already. Lastly, we have 4 times negative 4, that's negative 16. And once again, we have a two-term situation times another three-term situation. So let me use the box method right here. So this time, I will just draw the box right like this. And then let me put down this on the top, 2x squared minus 4x minus 16. And let me put this on the side. The order doesn't matter, so just do it like this, it's okay. So right here, 2x times 2x squared is going to give us 4x to the third power. This times that is going to give us negative 8x squared. This times that is going to give us negative 32x. And then this times that is going to give us negative 16x squared. Negative 4x times negative 8 is positive 32x. And negative 16 times negative 8 is positive 128. And now let's see what does this give us. Don't forget this is plus, so let me just write down plus. Plus is great because I don't have to change sign, right? First, we'll have 4x to the third power, and then this time that together is negative 24x squared. This and that cancel each other out, so don't worry about it. This is positive 128. So the entire left-hand side is this now. Well, we of course have the right-hand side to work it out, and let's do it as well. Similar way, I will multiply the blue part first. 2x times x minus 2. Therefore, we will get 2x squared. And then 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x, right? And then I would like to just multiply this out the regular way because it's just 2 term times 2 term. So you will see we will first get uh, this times that, which is just 2x to the third power, okay? And then when you do x times negative 4x, this is negative 4x squared. And when you do this times that, 8 times 2x squared, that will give us 16x squared. So together, negative 4x squared and 16x squared, we will get plus 12x squared. And lastly, positive 8 times negative 4x, we will get negative 32x. So this is what we have for this right here. And right here, let's see what we have. So I'm going to use blue again. Well, I'm going to multiply this out together first because this is easy, right? Because it's going to give us x squared minus 4. And we have this x right here. So altogether, this is x to the third power minus 4x in blue, OK? However, I still have the negative x in black. So I have to take this and multiply, multiply. At the end, we will have negative x times x to the third power is going to be negative x to the fourth power. Negative x times negative 4x, which is going to be plus 4x squared. Whew. All right, we are not done yet. It's fun, huh? And we have to combine the terms on the uh, left-hand side first. Let's go ahead and do it. So we see we have the x to the fourth power by itself. So let me just write it down. Let's look at the third power here on the left-hand side. We have the negative 2x to the third power and the positive 4x to the third power. Together, it's going to give us plus 2x to the third power. And then this is the only x squared term that we have, negative 24x squared, right? So let me write it down. And this is the only x term that we have. Let me write it down, negative 32x. And this is the only constant term. So we put down plus 128. And this is equal to, on the right-hand side, let's put on the x to the fourth power term first, which is negative x to the fourth power. And how about the x to the third power term? This is the only one, right? So plus 2x to the third power. 
And for the x squared term, you see that this and that. 12x squared plus 4x squared is going to give us plus 16x squared. And lastly, we have the minus 32x. Alright, now we are going to move everything from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. So right here, let's just add the x to the fourth power on both sides. Okay, let me just write down the work for you guys, so that way it's easier for us to keep track. And then I'm going to minus 2x to the third power on both sides. So that this and that will cancel, but you see that's also going to cancel, right? And I'm going to subtract 16x squared on both sides as well. And let me put it down here, minus 16x squared. And for this one, we are going to add 32x on both sides, plus 32x right here. Right, so at the end, what do we get? Let me just draw this line. All right, x to the fourth power plus x to the fourth power, we get 2x to the fourth power, and then plus 2x to the third power minus 2x to the third power, of course they cancel out, and this is negative 24x squared minus 16x squared, we will have negative 40 x squared and then this and that cancel out and then we bring this down plus 128 all in all this is equal to zero look at this right here on the left hand side we just have three terms right and this is equal to zero can we factor this out let's try it and let me do it right here i want to keep everything on the board so let me write this down again we will have the 2x to the fourth power minus 40x squared plus 128 is equal to zero and first let me factor out the two right here so i will have two times x to the fourth power minus 20x squared plus 64 equals to zero and you see this is actually really nice because this is actually quadratic in terms of x squared that means i can factor this out as let me put on two here first i will open two parentheses and i will have x squared times x squared because x squared times x squared will give us x to the fourth power and I'm going to ask myself what times 4 will give me positive 64 and together it's going to add up to negative 20 the correct combination is negative 16 and negative 4 equals to 0 it works right it's factorable it works and you know the 2 doesn't matter you care about this and you care about that so you have x squared minus 16 equals to 0 and the other one is x squared minus 4 equals to 0 i know if you're still watching the video you should be able to solve this equation and from this equation we have two answers this right here will get x is equal to 4 and the other one is x is equal to negative 4 and then from this equation we'll have x is equal to 2 and the other one is x is equal to negative 2. as we can see it seems like we have four answers right however let me tell you Three of them are wrong. Only one of them is correct. And this is why this video is called the three pretenders. Three of them are just the fake answers. So, which ones are the fake ones? Well, let's look at this one. When x is equal to 4, be sure you plug back into the original equation, especially the denominator. We cannot have a zero in the denominator. If you plug in 4 into this denominator for this factor, you will get 4 minus 4, which is 0, and that will cause this fraction have a 0 in the denominator. Therefore, this is no good. So I have to get rid of that. And I'm going to leave it this. This is actually the correct one. But then if you plug in 2 into, let's say, this one, you get 2 minus 2. You have a 0 factor in the denominator. You have 0 in the denominator altogether. This is also not correct. Likewise, for the last one, x is equal to negative 2, if you plug in into this factor here, negative 2 plus 2, you also get 0 in the denominator. That's also wrong, right? So you have to get rid of this as well. So, all in all, the only answer, and let me write this down, the only answer that we actually have is x is equal to negative 4. You see how amazing this is. First of all, you see the equation, you see nothing but just twos and eights, right? And at the end, you work out all that. You have four answers, however, three of them are fake. Only one of them is correct. And you see, this is not about how you solve the equation, it's about how you come up with such an equation that has such a beauty behind it. I admire you, Mr. Hill. This question right here is one of the questions that I am amazed the most. And once again, thank you so much. And I was really fortunate to have you as one of my teachers back in high school. And of course, without you, I may not be a teacher right now. And thank you and um, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Happy New Year's.